not the best holidays we're fighting through we're kicking it so i just wanted to make these like kind of daily vlogs well, i've like kind of drafted up a oh no employment plan and i think i need your guys' help please follow please subscribe please comment dislike like yeah i love you bye Hey everybody, this is Enrico and I am back again. Hope you guys are doing well. Because apparently there is a huge rate of young Korean people that are unemployed. And South Korea sees this as a big problem. Because it's getting to the point that this rate is so high that it is higher than the U.S. And you would think like the U.S. has a lot of unemployed people. But the cultures are so different. We talk about South Korean culture and how there's this expectation where it's like everything's supposed to be mapped out for you. And you have to go from point A to point B to point C. And if you do not, then it's like you are a weird alien creature that is not a normal person in Korean society. So this all ties into what's going on now with many young people and how they're going about trying to survive and be in this culture, but then not having a job because things might not have worked out the way that they wanted it to, the way that their family might have wanted it too. So as a result, what are they doing? They are going into seclusion in their room. They're holding themselves up and they're deciding that I'm going to live as a neat because I have nothing else really to live for. Also, there are some people that might have had jobs and then they've had such horrible experiences with the hierarchy system where they're just being abused, bullied, verbally abused. And they've gotten to the point where they're like, you know what? I worked hard and this is the end result. So what I'm going to do is I am going to stay in my home and not leave out at all. And then we have many people who are doing this. And so these people feel like that they're alone because there are government plans in place to help people find jobs because the job market and the competition for South Koreans is so cutthroat that it's not a lot to go around. So there are many people that it's, it has to do too with the type of job that you might want to get <laughs> because if you're looking for like a a ranking job there's so many people right out of university that are trying to get these jobs there are people that actually try to help <laughs> young people get jobs and you know how to go about the interviews and all of that but then they do this and they think they've aced it and they don't get the job. 더 이상 프로세스를 더 굳이 익혀도 마지막에 배울 수 있는 게좀 적었고 어, 밖에서는 좀알수 없었던 내부 정보들도 접하면서 그런 것들 활용해서 좀더 실용적인 연구를 할수 있을 것이라 기대하고 있었습니다. 그럼 기업 내부로 그냥 들어가는 게 낫지 않나요? 연구원으로 오지 말고. 약간 어떻게 보면은 어 죄송합니다. 이거 조금 어 잠시만요. 좀 정리를 좀 하고 말씀드리도록 하겠습니다. And so there are also young people who it's like you have to go to high school, you have to go to university after that. There are some people that decide that they do not want to go to university, that they might drop out of high school. And so they get a job. And it's just like, oh my God, like for many Korean people, for many Korean families, when you do this, it's just like you are becoming Wong Ta. You are like an outcast, a loner, because this is just so out of the loop for the plan of Korean society. And if you do this, <laughs> it's like your family's ashamed of you. There are many people that look at you differently. And it's this social pressure to be 
inside of this circle of the plan and there are many young people now that are going outside of this plan and they're saying I just want to live my life the way that I want to live it and go about it my own way and so the, the social pressure causes once again people to become secluded and become neats and they're deciding that, you know, I don't want to deal with people. I don't want to deal with having a job. I don't want to deal with people's expectations. And there's also people that are coming together to help these people so they don't feel so alone. And there was actually a gathering and they're all coming together and they're talking to each other. And it really just is a sense of unity. And I, I definitely see it and I understand it because I'm the type of person that I'll continue to say this is that someone's life is someone's life and how someone decides to live I don't care if someone goes and strips their clothes off and they run naked through a store like yeah I might judge you a little bit but that's you that's not me what you do at your life is you you know I might see it from the outside looking in but I have no right to put my own agenda my own standards on your life but for Korean society, it's very much everyone must go with the herd. And I've noticed this like with East Asia, just in general, like Japan is like this to China, Hong Kong, Taiwan. It's, it's so much just if you step outside of that and you decide that you want to do something a little bit differently, you're the black sheep. <laughs> and it is what it is. There's so many young people that are South Korean right now that are having such a hard time just with getting money so much so that the birth rate is going down young people are not dating because dates cost money and then also you're going on this date and you're talking to this girl who considers herself to be like top of the crop and she's asking you what university did you go to what did you study what is your family background all these things and if you say you didn't go to university it's kind of like oh yeah no oop, next <laughs> thank you next <laughs> and it really is so it's so hard it, it really is just hard for many young South Koreans to get everything together and to feel like that they're on stable footing and so they're deciding to go into this another option which I feel it can be kind of unhealthy but then there's like stages of it as well. I do think that it is okay to be alone. I do think it's okay to get your thoughts together and just be by yourself. I don't think it's okay to seclude yourself for three or four years. And there have been some cases with some of these needs that they've just walled themselves off from society. I don't think it's healthy. I think it's good that you go outside. If some are living at home with the parents, it's not good to depend on your parents to cook you meals and you just stay in the room and the room looks like a garbage dump. Everything is flung all over the place. You can't see the bed after a few months. That's not healthy at all. And you're going to have to learn to take people's scrutiny for one because there's such a gap right now with like Korean youth and the older people and Korean youth definitely seeing now and I think it's a little bit thanks to like what they're seeing with foreign media as well that it's okay to do your own thing it's okay to not be like everyone else and there are definitely some Koreans that are living by like the YOLO you know you only live once do you do your thing people are going to say what they have to say about you and, it, and it's okay <laughs> because you have one life <laughs> There's always going to be this kind of old structure, I feel like, in South Korean society where it's like there's an expectation. But be happy with what you do because there's so many jobs out there where it's like even a South Korean person decides to become like a gym trainer or a singer. It's, it's frowned upon until they're really successful. They see those jobs as not you know top tier jobs they see like them going working at a big fabulous company samsung <laughs> or you know something along those lines of being like successful but there's so many korean people that work for samsung and they're tired they work hard or even other big companies and they, they just work and work and work and they're not really happy but you know they might be getting the money but it's like 
then we're thinking about just so many people who are taking their own lives and all of it just tying into this concept of what is actually being happy. Meta dream is to become a doctor. I'm taking the NEAT exam. Let's go! A few moments later. <sighs> And I think that is very important that many people sit down and they think through their decisions and they think about what can I do to make myself happy but also be stable financially because there's always going to be someone that's going to have something negative <laughs> to say about you no matter what. There's always going to be some Korean people that are going to pry if you go outside the norms. Why don't you have a girlfriend? Why aren't you married yet? Why don't you have children? <laughs> you know, it's always these questions that you're gonna get from like an old Ajima or from some random person. And I don't think they always realize they're being nosy. I think they think it's all in good faith because in their mind they're programmed to think like these are normal things. You need to live by the guidebook of this society, especially if you are South Korean. And it's like not everybody is going to do that. <laughs> you know, it's like there are going to be people that are not going to follow the guidebook of South Korean life. <laughs> and some people, it's going to be like mind blown. Other people are going to accept it. Some people are not going to care. People will live on. Simple as that. I think like the whole concept of needs and otakus is, is very interesting. I thought like Japan was like the one place that was like always into this but South Koreans they they're they're getting into it <laughs> they're getting into it too <laughs> but yeah you guys there's a lot to think about how do you feel about this topic how do you feel about the unemployment rate in South Korea and just even like unemployment rate where you're from as well you know how do you feel about that do you fall into that category do you not fall into that category why or why not Put below all your thoughts and how you feel. Follow my social media, mostly my Instagram, also vlog on East Asian Pop Culture. The link is always down in the description box below. And remember, be real, stay real, live in the real, and I will always be back. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for the various opinions. I love you guys. I will see you in the next video. <laughs>